um, pain comes from? Do you think it's like developmental trauma? Is there something that's happened in their life specifically, like from from hearing about men's challenges? Mm. Where do you think it comes from? Because it doesn't just manifest out of nowhere. It mm. must come from something a little bit deeper. I don't know if you've done that investigation work, but it's something that I'm really interested in. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, it, obviously every, everyone is individual. It can come from, you know, trauma can take shape in anyone at any time. And it doesn't have to be uh, what you would call these capital T traumas. It doesn't have to be yeah. uh, sexual assault, physical abuse, um, divorce of parents. It doesn't have to be one of those. Those things are obviously extremely valid and can occur, but um you know, trauma is, you know, defined where at any point throughout your development where your emotional needs were not met. And, you know, that is, that manifests itself into every single one of us. Every single one of us has trauma. I think the challenge that a lot of men face is that from a very young age, the way that we are conditioned is very different to, to, to you know, young boys and young girls are conditioned very differently. Yeah. Um, we're taught to, as we know, men are taught to, or young boys are taught to, you know, you know, be brave, don't cry, um, you know, come on, get on with it, like don't you don't whinge. We just we're, we're taught to to stifle and fear and feel shame around expressing vulnerability, sadness, pain. Mm -hmm. So, um, whereas you know, oh that'll be okay, you know, the, the the you know sort of that's all right, you know, we we nurture we nurture young girls and they're you know we protect them. Um, and so that is for me that the you know that that's the starting point. Um, I had a guest on my podcast recently, an amazing, amazing woman called Kerry, who just, and I don't want to misquote or, or start just giving out, you know, bullshit statistics, but she said, she quoted some ages that, you know, there were noticeably different levels of empathy amongst young boys and young girls, even at ages sort of five, six, seven. Yeah. So, you know, that, if we're instilling that inability to feel safe expressing pain from a very, very young age, you know, what hope are we giving men, or young men, adolescent men, teenage boys, you know, when, you know, you're, I don't know, 13 years old and your parents get divorced and you don't know how to process pain and you're told that you need to just get on with it and, you know, whatever. Um, sexual trauma, you know, that occurs in men as well. And I don't just mean sexual assault, I mean, uh, just, just stifling of sexual kind of creating your sexual identity. You know, we're taught to shame and fear our bodies. And, you know, I don't know, like when we're young, m most, most men, and so that's something I've learned is most men, uh, when you talk about their journey into things like self-discovery of masturbation, it's all from a period, it's all from a place of having to hide it, feeling shame about it, having to get it over and done with quickly. Hi yeah. Like it's, it's not a journey of, um, excitement, safety, self-discovery. So, there's that kind of trauma. Um, yeah, then you get, as I say, like you, it can happen at any point. These things can happen to all of us. And it's that m markedly different um, environment that we are creating for men that I believe is then manifesting into huge disconnection in, in, our, in our adult lives. It's the reason why men struggle to connect in relationships. It's why you see these stereotypical heterosexual relationships where the woman wants to connect and talk and 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 be open and and connect through through their emotions and their words and men just you know want the simple life and why can't she just leave me to it and you know it's yeah. actually that's just conditioning men want the same connection men want to experience love and safety and vulnerability but we are taught that that is not what a man is so it's it's how we reprogram it's how we reconstruct and heal um these these damaging conditioning you know this damaging conditioning that we're doing to men and i guess that's what i'm trying to 